There are so many diets out there to choose, to talk about, to be about. I'm gonna talk about how I looked at all of them and why I chose the blood type diet. Hi, my name is Jeffrey Butts and I'm a doctor of dental surgery. And this channel is all about health and wellness for you to be healthy and wealthy. And today, I wanna to talk about diets in general. I mean, everyone is saying that I should be a vegan based on the blood type diet uh, video that I did. They said, you need to not eat meat. That's what they said to me. Because meat is murder, it's bad for you. Um, I've had uh, some carnivores say, you know what, the only thing that you need to ever eat in the world, my blood type brother, is meat, and that's gonna make you healthy and wealthy. I mean, I'm, I'm like, okay, all right, cool. And then there's the keto diet, uh, you know, like get your get your body in a certain way so that the it can eat off the ketones, dude. And all of that seems like really, really good advice because I think, genuinely, I think that everyone with their diet, um, let's say their diet side, they're trying to help everyone else. That's what, I think that's what they're doing. So the, the carnivores are trying to help you, the vegans are trying to help you, the keto people are trying to help you, I'm trying to help you. Well, actually, here's what it is. Uh, although I'm trying to help you, I'd like you to be well, but I was actually trying to help me because how can I do anything for anybody as I serve the public still uh, without being in good health? So yes, uh, I found this to be the most true in what I've seen of all the diets so far. So I'm sharing it with you and I'm, sa I'm saying it passionately because I think not only does it really work, um, it really, really works. <laughs> okay, the reason why I got into this is because in my studying of becoming a dentist, I needed to study medicine. So biochemistry, um, cell biology, uh, pharmacology, all the doctor courses that doctors take. And now that's many years ago, but I keep studying these subjects because it is absolutely relevant to my work for the public. Uh, in placing dental implants, I need to make sure that I'm giving the patient a way that I hope will be best for them to heal after I'm done with them and their implant so that it can integrate the best so that they just have a healthy tooth that I could put on the implant. So I chose it because I kept getting sick every year. Every year I caught like a major cold and this major cold would absolutely knock me on my butt. I started getting bigger. Uh, I couldn't figure out why. And then in my 40s, in my 40s I was like, well, I guess this is just what life is because I saw everybody doing it. My uncles did it, my dad did it. Like I just thought that people, once they started getting older, that they just started getting bigger. And that was how it was. I, I, I had some jeans, the jeans didn't fit so well anymore. I had to buy some new jeans. I bought some new jeans, they're like two sizes up. I was like, this is how life is gonna go. Still eh, ass, not, not feeling well, sick. And I, I wish I could, tell you exactly what the click was. That, that it literally, I said no to sickness is, is really what it was. And I had to figure out how, why, what, all of that. I mean, I knew my why. My why was because um, I'm gonna be on earth for a long time. At least, at least that's my plan. And if you're gonna be on earth for a long time, you should then at least be healthy right and if you're healthy that means that you get to enjoy all of the fruits of life and there's so many fruits in life so many things that you get to indulge in and enjoy because you have your good health which is to me your wealth i went on a journey i, I just didn't know what it was going to be i think i started in 2017, 2018, something like that is when I just started kind of looking into it. And I'd had some incidents happen to me that made me have a better understanding of, you know, what to do or what I should do, what I shouldn't do. I, I saw the, the movie Forks Over Knives. 
it got me, it got me deep. And I was like, oh my God, how can I do, how can I enjoy meat at all? I'm talking about chicken, pork, fish, whatever. I can't enjoy any meat because it's, it's farmed so par poorly and um, it's so bad for my system. It causes cancer and all these things that were in the movie that I just believed. And <clears throat> when I believed it, uh, that was it because my belief was going to lead me because all I wanted to do was just be healthy and healthy and, and happy into the future, which was absolutely coming. Each day was coming every day, which was great. I wake up every morning and I get an opportunity to strike, swipe at the day and I love it. So I just want to go on that. I just want to keep doing that. But this vegan thing, I said, okay, well, no more meat. I'm not doing that anymore. So I went vegan, right? This is probably you know, 2017, 2018, something like that. I lost a bunch of weight. I did not, did not feel well. Um, and really, I, I only did it for 11 days. And I remember each day because it was, it was really, really hard each day. Um, I lost a bunch of weight. I did not feel well. I don't think that I looked well. I had a lot of comments from people asking if I was sick and I wasn't. So once I started eating meat, everything kind of turned around. And now I wasn't necessarily on the blood type diet book yet then. It was just something that I experienced that, oh, I, I really do better with meat. And I was thinking, thinking when I, when I watched the movie and, and the movie said, hey, the meat is murder and it's so bad for you and you shouldn't do it and all these reasons that, I mean, I believed, I bought all the way into it. Man, I was like, uh, after I did it, then I was like, you know what? I'm gonna have to deal with the consequences of whatever it is that happens when you eat meat because I feel a lot better than not eating meat. And that was just a, it was just a fact in my life that I found and then other things and then other stories came around and, and then COVID came up. And the information that they were giving up during COVID was like, come trust me, I'm your government. I love you and I've always loved you. I, I don't really know that to be true. Um, it's never anything that I've ever felt because when someone loves you, I feel like you can feel them loving you. I feel like it. And my government never made me feel like it loved me. So that's okay, that's okay. But then I was like, well, whatever you guys are saying to do, I don't, I don't know about that. I don't, I don't know. So in my not knowing, I had to keep studying because now uh, I'm, I'm a dentist and the office is open and I'm, I'm having to follow COVID protocol and I changed a bunch of things in the office to make sure that I was COVID compliant. And um, even though my staff was not all necessary, I still took care of them because I was hoping that this too shall pass, right? So I just, I just kind of kept going but more cautiously, with actually with more fear. Um, I did get COVID, I, I did get sick, but I got COVID before it was popular. Um, I think uh, two people in my office got, got, I'm gonna say it was COVID, they called it influenza A at the time. Both of them were deathly ill, had to take some time off work, but it wasn't when they were warning everyone to not go to work, you're gonna spread it. Don't hug yourself, don't love, don't love your loved ones, like don't hug them. Like it, it just wasn't, it wasn't necessary. They, they got sick, they felt better. They said, "Woo, that was a doozy. Both of them said that was a doozy. And that was it, we kept working. And then I got sick and yeah, it, it was a doozy, but I didn't know what it was. I just thought it was a bad cold. Nothing really stopped with me. I kept doing my regular thing. I was thinking, man, um, <laughs> my thing isn't working because I got sick, you know? So I just wanted to, I guess I, I wanted to just keep going, keep living, keep making it, making it work for me. So that had passed and then I found out that it must have been COVID or something like that and now COVID is full in bloom and uh, my studying kept going. Everyone went home, everyone shut down, there was left, less crowds in the streets, um, but I was going back and forth to work to serve emergency cases only. And I saw just some of the darndest things. I saw a, a bone cancer 
that I'd just never seen before. The person was, was complaining that their tooth was moving and I took a CT scan of it and they just had a huge bone lesion that I, I, I knew this person. And I'd, I'd seen this person many times and, and next thing I know they had a bone lesion which turned out to be a bone cancer. So um, I had to figure out what I could say to myself and to my patients so that they could have some responsibility for their health. Because I felt like if you just believe all of the doctors uh, at the time that were saying, don't do this, absolutely do that, it seemed as though you were being misled. And then they started basically censoring people from speaking out against whatever the government was saying. If they said something that was not not exactly what the government said, if they went against what the government said, then it was deemed malicious or, or, or bad information and they would pan it. And I thought that that was weird because I know that in America we have freedom of speech and even though we may not agree with each other, I, I could not, I don't have to listen to what you say, I don't have to listen to it. But if I did listen to it, I could agree with it or disagree with it or whatever, but you can say it just like I should be able to say whatever I want to say, even if it was something that was rude, although that would be a bad thing, but still, freedom of speech, I can say it. So once that started happening, I was like, oh, okay, well, that, that's weird too. And, and so it made me study. And in the study, what I came up with from all of the neurobiologists and the cell biologists and, and the other PhD doctors, some medical doctors. I came up with my food, sleep, exercise, detoxification, mindfulness, behavior, theory, plan of action so that I could stay on it. I could tell it to my patients for them to stay on it. And it would just be a, not even a handbook, it would just be something in your hands. But what could I eat? What should I eat? I had no idea. And diets vary so, seem, seemingly so broadly that how can you distinguish whether someone should actually be a vegan or someone should actually be a carnivore or someone should be in the middle? Like, how do you say that to someone? So when I rediscovered the blood type diet book and I started looking into it and, and through the chapters looking into the biochemistry as to why things are the way that they are. So here's, here's why I chose it. I, I, it was just, it was easy to me, it just made sense, okay? So your blood type, it could be an A, it can be a B, A, B, or O, I'm an O, all right? It has particular antigens that are anti some other things. So if you're an A, you're an anti B. If you're a B, you're an anti A. If you're an A, B, you're anti both of those. <laughs> and if you're an O, you're anti everything, okay? You can only take O. So anyway, these antis are the antigens that are on the blood cell surface that have a job to react with things that pass it and the material that it passes through the body. Certain foods, have lectins, which is just basically a protein, okay? But certain lectins for certain chemistries make the blood thicker. And that thickening of the blood causes inflammation. This inflammation causes other things to happen, which can be in the form of asthma, uh, irritable bowel syndrome, diabetes, things that are to my understanding, are controllable if you control it, particularly diabetes type 2. So when I had the understanding that, I said, oh, so there are certain things that I should eat, there are certain things that I shouldn't eat, and I started testing it more. It just, through my body, it seemed true. Now, uh, we're going to have another video about all of the people who have left some comments and on, on the blood type O video, which I guess there's most, most of the people in the world are blood type O, the original blood type, 
right? So that's fine. And all the other ones are derivations of the blood type O. But we're going to answer some questions because hey, they, weren't, they weren't questions. Some were questions. Some were comments. They were great comments. Things like aliens and po had populated the earth and things like uh, I get a lot of pimples. What do you think I should do? Little things like that. I'm going to address those. But you know what? I know that it worked for me. And like anyone that's like a recovering alcoholic or drug addict, it's like once they get out of their, their haze or the thing that was making them sick, their drugs, their alcohol, now they're going to all their friends and being incredibly annoying, <laughs> saying, you shouldn't drink. Stop drinking. We, we can't do this blow anymore because it's killing us, bro. And that's kind of how I feel about the blood type diet. Um, I might be a little bit annoying because I really want you to know that, no, it's not for everyone, no. But it might start the conversation for you to be like, well, what am I? What should I be? How should I be? And just start there. And knowing that even there's all the O's, all the A's, the B's and the AB's, even in those different blood types, there can be people that are different within those blood types. So you could have some O blood type people that say they thrive on a vegetarian diet. Sure, sure. I mean, if, that's, if that is how you are feeling and that's what you're experiencing, I would never ask anyone to change that because it's about feeling good, so that you can be good, so that we can help each other with whatever, even if it's just a nice conversation, sharing tea, sharing information, helping somebody get healthy or wealthy, doing something, but we can't do it unless we ourselves are healthy. And that is this channel. That is the passion. There you go right there. So I feel like the blood type diet is the one that makes sense. It is not the only thing that anyone needs in order to be healthy and wealthy. Absolutely not. You got to drink enough water. You got to take your vitamin minerals, vitamins and minerals. And uh, I'm actually going to do a video on the supplement vitamin min vitamins and minerals that I take that I think help me. My mom and my dad are older. Let's just say older. They asked me not to say their ages, but they're older than you and me, <laughs> all right? And uh, not quite Methuselah or Job, but older. They are doing great. They, their cog the cognitive function is, is great. Um, their mobility is not as fine, but they take vitamins. And they take vitamins religiously. My dad at one point was, uh, my mom would get the vitamins together for my dad and, he's, and she'd be like, here you go, baby. Here's your vitamins. And, and, and he would say, you know what? I am sick of these vitamins. I'm always taking these vitamins. She said, okay, baby, you don't have to take it. That's what she said. No problem. Well, after my dad didn't take the vitamins for a little while, he started having things come up. And, and then he went back to mom and he was like, uh, you know what? Let me get back on those vitamins. Let's, let's do that vitamin. So that's just a small example of somebody who I mean, he made a choice. He said, I'm not going to take these vitamins. I'm going to go off the range. And in going off the range into the wilderness, he found out that it was dark out there. It was cold out there. There's something going on. And it wasn't what he wanted. It wasn't what was making him thriving. And he went back to what he knows. That's all I'm doing with the blood type diet. I'm, I'm going to be deep in what I know, what is working for me. I hope that it works for you. And please stay tuned to the other videos that we have on the blood type diet where I do the Q&A and where we talk about some other things about the blood type diet because I think it's a very good start. I think it's what we all need, but I am willing to be shown that is completely not true. Show me. Please show me. And of course, by showing me, that would be that you actually did the diet and it was terrible for you. Uh, and if that was the case, then uh, are you sure that you are the blood type that you think you are? Double check it. Please let me know. Leave a comment in the comment section below. Anyway, that is really all I wanted to say about why I started the blood type diet. 
it was part COVID, it was part vanity because I wanted to be healthy. And uh, I recommend it to people because I love people and uh, I want everyone to just have their own best life. That's it. No, you do not have to do this diet. No, it's not the thing that is the end all be all. But I do say, make your investigation in whatever you're doing so that you can optimize your health because that's what we're talking about, right? Thank you so much for listening. Please leave a comment in the comment section below. Please like and subscribe to the channel, which is growing every day because of you. Please share this with a friend. We'll talk about some other things later.